So hello guys, welcome back to our lecture video. And for today's video, we are going to discuss about the end behavior of polynomial functions. Let's start. We already learned how to graph different kinds of functions, such as linear functions, quadratic functions. Um, but how about cubic functions, quartic functions, or even higher degree functions? Plotting points could be time-consuming and the behavior of these functions are not predictable as lines and parabolas. But there are simple tricks to identify useful key information about the graph of polynomial functions. We may be able to sketch a draft of its graph using simple tricks and patterns. First, let's talk about the end behavior. The end behavior of a polynomial function is the behavior of the graph of f of x as x approaches to positive infinity or negative infinity. Or in simple terms, what happens to the polynomial if as x becomes really, really large or really, really negative number. There are several possibilities for the end behavior of a polynomial function. Let's start by learning how to figure out what the end behavior is. So for example, for quadratic functions such as um, f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, we know that if a is greater than 0, then the graph would be an upward opening parabola. And if a is less than 0, then the graph would be a downward opening parabola. But how do we know the end behavior of cubic polynomials or even higher degree polynomials? We can do this by simply using a trick called penepono. That's right, penepono. And this pattern will help us identify the end behavior of polynomial functions. First, what does penepono stands for? Penepono is an abbreviation. P-E, pe, means positive even. N-E, or ne, means negative even. O means positive odd, and N-O or no means negative odd. So remember that, pe ne po no. So, we look at the leading term of a polynomial and focus on its leading coefficient and its exponent. Depending on the leading coefficient, whether it's positive or negative, and uh, its degree or the exponent, if it's even or an odd number, we know what the end behavior will be. And that is where penepono comes in. The first letter in the abbreviation talks about the leading coefficient and the next letter is on its degree. So for example, the polynomial function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. The leading coefficient is positive 2 and its exponent is an even number. Therefore, the graph rises up on both left and right sides. The leading coefficient is positive again and the exponent is even so it falls under p which means p. Another example is the polynomial f of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 11x plus 4. So the leading coefficient is negative 3 and the exponent of the leading term is an even number 2 which means that the graph drops down on both left and right side. Third example, polynomial uh, function f of x is equal to is equal to 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 8x plus 6, um, wherein the leading coefficient is positive 2 and the exponent of the leading term or the degree is an odd number, so it falls under po in the penepono, positive odd. Therefore, the graph drops down to the left and rises up to the right. And for the last example, f of x is equal to negative 4x cubed minus 2x squared, plus 4x minus 2, um, the leading coefficient is negative 4, and the uh, leading term's exponent or the degree is an odd number, so it falls under the no in the penepono pattern. Therefore, the graph rises up to the left and drops down to the right. So, even with higher degree polynomial, you can easily know its end behavior applying the penepono pattern. And somehow, we'll be able to know an idea how the graph of that polynomial function looks like. You can try graphing the following polynomial functions using a graphing utility and see for yourself how to apply the penepono. And then type in the comments down below its end behaviors. Okay, so 
I hope you learned something from today's lecture and please give this video a thumbs up if you learned while watching this video and uh, I will see you on the next video. Peace.